David here from Another Eden Adventures. How are you doing? Guess what? I did it. I finished Taki's mini game Space Evaders on Astronomical. Yep. Yeah, I know. I'm behind. I'm behind in everything because I just had to get married, didn't I? If you watched my last video, I explained that I got married. Then went on a honeymoon and every day that went by during my wedding preparations and during my honeymoon as I looked at my to-be wife and my now wife I couldn't help but think I am so behind on another Eden as we did our vows on the altar I thought I don't even have Daisy yet so what better more romantic thing for me to do than during my honeymoon play this beloved mini game that everyone just absolutely loves and raves about how good and fun it is this mini game of star keys called space evaders and it's worth playing if even just for easy mode right so you unlock space evaders um, when you play star keys free bonus quest that you can get as as part of Japan's fifth anniversary. There are a few conditions to unlock this quest, which you can find online. But once you finish the quest, this mini game gets unlocked. So, if you play easy mode, you unlock one of Starkey's skills, his true VC Grasta. Um, and then if you play it on hard mode which is still doable, you get a chant script, which is worth, you know, a little bit of time you put into it. And then super hard is the next mode after that, which is exactly that, it's just super freaking hard. See, I'm in the airport right now recording this, I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background. That is how dedicated I am to you guys. I am at the airport recording this gaming video, that is what my life has come to and I love it so um, if you finish on super hard you actually don't get that much of a reward you get 30 chrono stones so it's just really for people who are sick like me and I know racism is bad but is cursing at alien life forms like from outer space bad not yet right because I swore I've said so many, I don't think I've said so many C words in my life, directed purely at space aliens, directed purely at Starkey himself. And then after super hard, you get astronomical, which is, is just super hard times a million. So what do you get for finishing astronomical mode? You get a lousy 50 chrono stones. So I really, the only thing you really get, really, is that sick pride that you did something that a lot of people can't do or just get irritated at doing which is what I got and also one bonus thing I think you'll get is let's say you want you're not the coolest kid on the party but you're single right and you're out there to mingle and you unfortunately you're not that 15 year old tech entrepreneur billionaire unfortunately you're not that jock dude with a with a jock jacket that you see in those TV shows you're just a dude who loves games. So what you do is, right, you bring another Eden on your mobile phone to a party, and then you flop out astronomical mode, and you show your love interest how you just absolutely smash it, and you win. And then you tell your love interest this, see what I can do with my finger? There you go. That is dating advice from me that you should never ever follow anyway I have ranted on for ages and sorry if I'm speaking in more of a monotone than usual because I am in an airport and I'm shy I'm shy and I'm aware of people listening anyway let's go watch me play super hard and astronomical modes all right super hard mode to be honest, I thought this was the final mode. 
I thought once I do this, I'll be good. But this took me maybe 20, 30 tries. But I did it. I won. So my strategy for this was, at first, was to stay in the middle. But I found that I kept getting smashed if I stayed in the middle. So in the end, I found a strategy where I mainly focused on the left and right sides of the screen. The reason being, I don't even know if it's a true theory or not, but I found if I stayed in one spot, a lot of the the, star, the other aliens, Starkies or whatever, would would just charge towards that one area, which will give me space to go to the other area, as you can see right here. Also, when you see that target sign from that massive Starkey, or whatever you call him, um, pointing at you, I normally go to a corner. That way, when, when he lands on my... He, he, the, the giant Starkey will just land on one side of the screen, giving me room to maneuver around. And also, another tip is... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I pulled that off. And you can hear that people in the airport in the background once again. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm pulling this off. Damn. I can't believe I did that. I am amazing. So, what else was I saying? You just gotta play it heaps of times and then you eventually figure out how to kind of weave your way through. Normally, you can weave through the little guys, but the big ones are hard to go through, so try and avoid them at all costs. There you go, whoop, there you go. 30 seconds left, can I do it? Obviously I did do it, this is a recorded. This is a recording, but there's no but. I have nothing to say. I show this to my wife, and she just said, this looks boring. Like it was the easiest thing in the world to do. I can't believe I pulled that off just then. Those big ones, they pissed me off. Done. If you're anything like me, like I started to daydream. That's what got me most of the time. I'll just daydream and then suddenly I'll be dead. This upset me. When he said come back again, I was like, what? There's another mode after this? Okay, here we go. This is my final and winning attempt at astronomical mode. As you can see, the timer is 150 seconds. It was the longest 150 seconds of my life. Just look at it, look at that. And I die. <laughs> All right, I forgot, I left this recording in. All right, this one better be the winning one. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I got smashed a lot. I said the F word a lot. I dropped a lot of C bombs. I dropped a lot of C F bombs. I dropped a lot of F C F C C C F F F S H. FC bombs. Here we go. 150 seconds. Here we go. Just look at that. Look at that skill. All learnt while my wife was showering or in the toilet, which gave me time to sneak in some Starkey minigame. Here we go. See how I went to the corner? And you can also see from the posture of the giant Starkey if he's going to run towards you or drop towards you. Because in astronomical mode, the giant Saki has two forms of attacks. One is the drop, one is the run. See this one, he's not doing the he's doing running pose, he's gonna run towards me. Yep. I hate that one. I hate all of it. I'm glad it's over. Look at that. Look, look at that. See me going to both sides of the screen? This is where I thought I screwed up. This is where the, the corner strategy can truly backfire and you just need to rely on pure skill, pure talent. Here we go. Boom, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, peed a little bit. Oh, I peed a little bit once again. Here we go, here we go. I'm yelling this in the airport. Boom, I can't, and I, and I looked at the screen, 70 seconds left, what the hell? Okay, oh my gosh, giant, giant Sakis, too many Sakis. This is the sickest mini game, like sick as in negative sick, like why, who would do this? Not even Squid Game did this. Alright, look at that, boom, that is 
I can't believe I pulled that off. See, if you do this in the party, you will be so popular because they'll be seeing you do this with your fingers. Okay, here we go. Army of Giant Starkies. 27 seconds. Whoa. 27 seconds left. Here we go. People laughing. Here we go. Ooh. This was pure misery. By this time, I didn't even want to look at the time because I didn't. Oh man, that was insane. That was an insane finish. Three seconds left. And there you have it. I did it. I won 50 chrono stones. Was it worth it? Probably not, but hey, it was fun. Was it fun? No, it wasn't. But don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Love you guys. Bye.